For months, a big question confronting official Washington has been, did the Trump campaign collude with the Kremlin to undermine Hillary Clinton? Tonight, President Trump's eldest son finds himself at the heart of the matter after he released a potentially explosive email chain. John Yang begins our coverage. The email showed Donald Trump Jr. eager to hear dirt on Hillary Clinton said to be offered as part of Russian government support for his father's campaign. The chain begins with a message from Rob Goldstone. He's a British-born music publicist. The younger Trump met him at the 2013 Miss Universe pageant in Moscow, which President Trump then owned. Goldstone said a client's father, a real estate developer who teamed with President Trump for that pageant, had been told of official documents and information that would incriminate Hillary and her dealings with Russia. Goldstone said it was part of Russia and its government's support for Mr. Trump. Donald Trump Jr. responds, if it's what you say, I love it. In a four-day flurry of emails, Donald Trump Jr. and Goldstone set up a meeting at Trump Tower in New York with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya. Also attending, Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner and campaign chairman Paul Manafort. Veselnitskaya told NBC News today she has no connection to the Russian government and knew nothing damaging about Clinton. It's quite possible that maybe they were looking for such information. They wanted it so badly. Today, Donald Trump Jr. said he thought he was being offered political opposition research. The president's son says he put the emails out to be totally transparent. On Capitol Hill, the release generated more questions than answers. I know Donald Trump Jr. is new to politics. I know that uh, Jared Kushner is new to politics, but uh, it's going to require a lot of uh, questions to be asked and answered. If you look at Donald Trump Jr.'s own admissions, these are his words, not mine, his. This was an attempt at collusion. And so now the question is really, was it successful? At an off-camera White House briefing, Principal Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders read a one-line statement from the president. My son is a high-quality person, and I applaud his transparency. Sanders said the president learned of his son's meeting only in the last several days but wouldn't say whether he knew of the apparent Russian offer to help his campaign. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm John Yang. And to Mark Mazzetti, Washington Investigations Editor for the New York Times. He's been leading the team of reporters that broke today's story. Mark Mazzetti, welcome back to the program. So tell us what the latest information is that the Times is reporting on connections, contacts between the Trump campaign, the Trump family, and Russian officials. Well, last night, the Times reported the existence of an email that showed uh, that the meeting that was brokered in June of 2016 showed uh, t an email to Donald Trump Jr. Uh, showed that the offer of damaging information uh, about Hillary Clinton came from the Russian government or was purported to come from the Russian government and that Donald Trump Jr. very eagerly responded that he was very interested uh, and, it, and it, it seemed to raise the stakes because it was not long, no longer just private information from a lawyer but something that seemed to come from Moscow and the Kremlin. Uh, this morning, we, we reported on the actual emails themselves, what the, what the emails contained that show the long thread that led up to the June 9th, 2016 meeting uh, between these various players. And at the same time, right, right as we were about to publish, uh, Donald Trump Jr. put out the emails himself. And, and again, striking language in the emails at one point, uh, you know, referring to this is part of Russia and its government's support uh, for Mr. Trump. But I want to ask you about what happened today. When your reporters reached out uh, to Donald Trump Jr., what happened? Uh, we reached out to his attorney in the morning, uh, notifying them that we were planning to publish the contents of the emails uh, and uh, gave them a deadline. Uh, and right around the, the time of the deadline, uh, when we were waiting for their comment, Donald Trump Jr. put the uh, emails themselves out on Twitter, and that's when we published our story. Were those, were the, was what Donald Trump Jr. put out on Twitter exactly what the Times had? The, the, the emails that he put out are consistent, certainly, with what we, what we, what we saw. And the Times was prepared to publish them, whether he had done that or not? 
Well, we were uh, uh, not planning to publish uh, actual emails. We were going. We had a story ready describing the emails with some actual, you know, word-for-word -word language in the emails, and the word-for-word -word language that we were going to quote from in our story lined up with what he put out on Twitter. Is it fair to say, Mark Mazzetti, that Donald Trump Jr. and others involved in this story have been cooperating because the sense one gets from reading these stories over the past few days is that the explanations you've been given by Donald Trump Jr. and by others has changed from day to day? Yeah, it's been evolving over about four days. Uh, Saturday, when we uh, were publishing our first story about this meeting, we got a response from Donald Trump Jr. that the meeting was about uh, uh, the, the primarily adoptions, which is a big issue for the Russian government uh, relating to the sanctions the United States has imposed on the Russian government. Uh, the next day, when we were publishing our second story, uh, that, that we knew that the meeting was not about that, it was about proposed damaging information about Hillary Clinton, uh, we got another statement that that said, yes, that's true. However, uh, it was uh, it was something anyone would do. Anyone part of a campaign would look for damaging information about their opponent. And then uh, yesterday, uh, we told them that we were planning to publish the email that uh, published the existence of an email that indicated there was Russian government support. There's been yet another answer. So yeah, it certainly has evolved over several days. And and Mark Mazzetti, what is the White House saying about the and the president's? involvement in this. Uh, it, what has Donald Trump Jr. said about that? Well, what the president knew about this is is still unclear. The, the White House has said the president did not know of the meeting. And there has been some, I'd say, conflicting accounts coming out of the White House about just how to handle this story uh, and how it should be spun and uh, how to how to handle handle the damage that was coming out of this story. Uh, but the question of and there's been frankly some blame going on internally about it now. But the question, the main question, of course, we are still endeavoring to find out is you know what what now President Trump knew about the meeting at the time. Uh, but as you say, right now the White House is saying he had no involvement. That's right. Mark Mazzetti, Washington Investigations Editor for The New York Times, thank you very much. Thank you.